Good morning and welcome to Bob's 126th day of Bob Goff's Live in Grace, Walk in Love. And our scripture passage for today comes from Matthew 24, excuse me, Matthew 14, 28 through 29, which says, Lord, if it's you, Peter replied, tell me to come to you on the water. Come, he said. And Bob writes, a quick boat ride away from our lodge in Canada, there's a hidden cove with a magnificent waterfall. Hardly anyone knows about it. So when I go, it feels like it's all mine, like God made the water park just for me. My friend Don and I made a trip to the cove years ago. Don and I waded over to the waterfall and he stepped through the fall and stood next to rocks while I stayed on the other side. Don was yelling my name, Bob, come through, you'll make it. I'm just on the other side, come on, Bob. I could barely hear him as the water crashed between us, but his voice was an invitation that demanded a response. I wasn't, it wasn't mere art agreements he was looking for. It was actually me taking a step forward. Despite my fear, I shuffled as the freezing water forced down on me. I felt like, it felt like long, it felt like a long way, but it really wasn't. After a few steps, I joined Bob, Don on the other side. It was the best version of a baptism you can imagine. Looking out toward the cove from behind the waterfall, I understood a little better about the time Jesus walked on water and invited Peter to join him. Jesus wasn't looking for agreement of affirmation that this would be a great idea for someone else to do. Jesus wanted Peter to take this step. Sometimes God asks us to step out or through he don't, we don't know what we'll see until we go through the deluge. It's scary to step out into the unknown, but it's also where we find Jesus. And wherever we find Jesus, we find life. Fear calls out our doubts. God calls out our names. When you hear Jesus calling your name, there's only one way to respond. Take a step. And the question Bob asks is, what's your next step? What's been holding you back? Let us close with prayer. Gracious and loving Lord, we give you thanks for calling our names, for the promise that you are always with us no matter what. Even when we can't see you, but we can hear your calling us. We know that you are there with us. So may you continue to call us and to guide us and to lead us and to show us a life beyond fear. For it's in Christ's holy name we pray. Amen. Thanks, everybody. Have a great day, and we'll see you all again soon.